the visit of Macron, Scholz, Draghi, and Johannes to Ukraine. First details and main statements. Four European leaders are visiting Ukraine. French President Emmanuel Macron, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi and Romanian President Klaus Johannes. World leaders came to Kiev ahead of the EU's decision to grant Ukraine the status of a candidate member of the European Union. European politicians have visited the capital for the first time since the Russian Federation launched a full-scale war with Ukraine in February 2022. The leaders of the four countries visited Irpin, which was destroyed by the invaders, and saw with their own eyes the consequences of the crimes of the Russian army, after which they met with President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky and held joint negotiations. The reaction of the President of Ukraine to the visit of Macron, Scholz, Draghi, and Diohannis. The head of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky noted that Ukraine appreciates the solidarity of Macron, Scholz, Draghi, and Johannes with our country and people. A busy day. Important meetings. I welcome French President Emmanuel Macron, German Federal Chancellor Olaf Scholz, Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi, and Romanian President Klaus Johannes de Kiv, Zelensky wrote. Scholz is struck by the cruelty of the invaders who committed atrocities near Kiv. After visiting Irpin, the German Chancellor said that he was struck by the senseless and terrible cruelty of the occupiers, which he saw in Irpin during a visit to Ukraine. According to him, this should be put to an end, and for this, Ukraine's partners are already taking measures. In particular, all opportunities are being mobilized to help Ukraine, and additional sanctions are being introduced against Russia. The violence is terrible and senseless. Residential buildings in Irpin were destroyed, the whole city was destroyed, not the military infrastructure, innocent civilians suffered. This says a lot about the cruelty of the terrible war of conquest, which Russia is waging very rudely, and without any respect for human lives, Scholz emphasized. Iohannis, after visiting Irpin, called for Russia to be held accountable Romanian President Klaus Iohannis, after what he saw in Irpin, called for the Russian occupiers to be brought to justice. There are no words to describe the unthinkable human tragedy and the terrible destruction that we saw today in Irpin. I resolutely renew my call for all Russian criminals to be brought to justice in accordance with international criminal justice, which Romania fully supports, Iohannis emphasized in Twitter. Draghi promised that Italy will help Ukraine rebuild everything after Russian attacks Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi during his visit to Irpin, assured that Ukraine would receive assistance to restore the infrastructure destroyed by the Russians. He said this in a conversation with reporters. We will rebuild everything. Kindergartens have been destroyed, kindergartens have been destroyed. Everything will be restored. They, Ukrainians, Ed, have already begun. They know exactly where the facilities that need to be rebuilt are. Every family has an application where they describe what happened and they are already in a very advanced state, the Italian Prime Minister said. Macron stressed that Ukraine must win the war against Russia. French President Emmanuel Macron published a message in Ukrainian on social networks after visiting Irpin, in which the French leader stressed that after what he saw, he believes that Ukraine should win the war with Russia. Irpin in Ukraine. We saw the devastated city and traces of barbarism. And also the heroism of Ukrainian women and Ukrainians who stopped the Russian army when it was marching on Kiev. Ukraine is resisting. It must be able to win, Macron wrote on his Facebook page. The visit of the leaders of European countries to Kiev is symbolic and politically important. The visit to Kiev of French President Emmanuel Macron, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi and Romanian President Klaus Johannes may influence the decision to grant Ukraine the status of an EU candidate. This opinion was expressed by the President of the European Parliament Roberto Mazzola. The visit of the leaders of European countries to Kiev is symbolic and politically important. The visit to Kiev of French President Emmanuel Macron, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi and Romanian President Klaus Johannes may influence the decision to grant Ukraine the status of an EU candidate. This opinion was expressed by the President of the European Parliament Roberto Mazzola. She also added that there are several important steps in the EU accession process but the absence of a decision on granting Ukraine candidate status for membership will disappoint society.
There are always several steps in the accession process, but we would really disappoint not only Ukrainians, but also ourselves and our union, if we close the doors to this brave people, the President of the European Parliament emphasized. What Zelensky talked about with world leaders. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky during a meeting with European politicians on June the 16th spoke about the supply of weapons to Ukraine. The head of state stressed that the delays in weapons allow the Russians to kill Ukrainians. We talked about the needs of Ukraine, about powerful weapons, we need a lot of help. Every weapon means lives saved, every delayed decision gives the Russians the opportunity to kill Ukrainians, Zelensky said. First statement from world leaders since meeting with Zelensky. French President Emmanuel Macron said that his state, as well as Germany, Italy and Romania, support the immediate granting of Ukraine the status of a candidate for EU membership. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz confirmed the common position of the four states. All four countries support the candidate status for Ukraine in relation to the roadmap. We hope that this decision will be unanimously adopted by the European Council, the French leader said. Recall, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, French President Emmanuel Macron, Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi and Romanian President Klaus Iohannis arrived in Kyiv on the morning of June 16.